Alright, I'm working on my 98 Komatsu PC-15 mini excavator right now, and one of the drive motors got a leak. So, I got it up on the lift here to fix it. So, I already pulled off the cover that was here and the cover that was here, and realized the return line rusted out. So, there's four lines going to this drive motor. I'm pretty sure this is the return and I, I just threw this hose on here as like a temporary because that was that helped it from leaking it's slowed it down considerably but that's not repaired so if this is the return I think this little line I think that's for brake I think I don't know though and these two are the travel so I kinda learned from my other machines when you change a final drive line to just do all of them because it's usually not long until another one goes bad and it's really not any more work to just change all of them than to just change one so so that's what I'm gonna do but I'm not gonna mess with this side yet because it's you know it's not it's not broken so so alright so the these covers are off the next thing that's gonna happen there is a cover here on the bottom that's gotta come off so I'll take that off and then uh, all the lines have to come out and it's important to mark them to be able to put them back in the same spot. That one just broke right off too, wow. Alright, hopefully that just screws out of there. Otherwise I may be taking this drive motor off. Um... Well, that sucks. Alright, so these hoses didn't fail because the hoses were bad. They failed because it rusted out. And, um, that just broke right off of there, that hose. So, is this a bolt? Yeah, yeah maybe this is it. Maybe this on threads out of there. Hang on. Sometimes these things work well. It ain't big enough.
right, I got, I got all, I just gotta get this one out now. And then clean everything up real well and then get the new parts. I'm sure someone's gonna complain this is gonna hurt it. I don't think it is, so. Eh, maybe it will, hang on. All right, so I just got back from the hydraulic hose place. This hose they couldn't make, but we just put this new end on it because that was all that was wrong with it. It was rusted out, and I put this new cover on it. So this hose was no problem. You know, it was rusted out here. So here's the replacement. Now these two were the same. Now these were a problem. Um, they couldn't get these fittings, so they had to make it and ab adapt it like that. So... But that should be fine. All right, so let's put this all together. And it's important to put these in in the right order. So you put the hardest one to get to first. And, uh, you know, don't get junk in the ends of these. All right, I am concerned that some contaminants may have entered um, 
into this drive motor, into these hoses. So before I put this all together, I want to flush everything out that I can. So that's why I lifted this track off of these lift arms so I could run it. I'm sure that's fine before this thing falls. Let me get it back on the lift safely. All right, so here it is all back together. So that went okay. That was a little harder than it normally should have been because getting these rusty hoses off was pretty difficult. But, you know, it's nice that every hose was changed and it's not leaking now. So on the other side, I took, I took it all apart and pressure washed it out really well. Now, and then I painted it to try to prevent the rust. Now, you know, these fittings have rust on them as well, so... You know, I was thinking about doing these, but I mean, usually my rule is don't fix things that aren't broken. So, you know, it's kind of in the air. I mean, yeah, that would have been a lot easier to do as I was doing the other side. But, you know, at the same time, this may be fine for years and years. And it, so it may not matter. So I guess I'll find out. But at least uh, everything's done and painted up. So let me just put all these plates back on it. I painted them too. And this machine's all fixed.
these threads got a little messed up. That's good. 